Welcome to the video. If you clicked on this, I assume that you are struggling with binge eating. I just wanted to say I'm so sorry. You're not alone. You will get through this. I'm going to leave some links that could possibly help you in the description. Feel free to message me on Instagram if you want someone to talk to because I know how lonely it can feel. I'm just going to be sharing my experience and the things that I did to get over it. Oh, it's funny because I've got goosebumps and it does make me like a bit emotional because it was such a hard time for me. So I'm genuinely sorry if you feel that way at the moment. And if you're going through that, you've got this. Look at my eyes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got my cup of tea. I'm ready, let's get into it. If you don't know what binge eating is, I'm gonna tell you. Binge eating is when you eat a large amount of food in a short amount of time and feel you can't control what or how much you're eating. So it's not like overeating. For me, binge eating was eating until I physically couldn't eat anymore. It's like something takes over your body and you physically, you can't stop. You cannot stop. I have never stopped myself binge eating. It's like someone goes into your brain and is driving your hands and your mouth. And yeah, you carry on going and you carry on going and it hurts, hurts your stomach a lot. Technically, in order to have binge eating disorder, it says you've got to binge eat regularly at least once a week, which I never did that once a week. I overate often, but I wouldn't binge eat every week. Every person's different and how often you binge eat doesn't take away from the fact that you're still struggling with binge eating. I remember when I was going through eating disorders, I would often get caught up on the fact that I don't fit some of the categories. Don't get caught up over the fact that you are not the definition that is online. At the end of the day, you know yourself, you know if you're struggling from binge eating. I'm gonna tell you, first of all, a little bit about my binge eating story. I guess it started because I was restricting myself. I had a whole separate eating disorder when I was growing up as a teenager. I never ate enough. I was really cruel to my body. I didn't give it what it needs. I restricted everything. I felt guilty for eating certain foods. Those foods that I felt guilty about eating were the ones that I ended up binging on. My first ever binge, it probably was a planned binge. I actually don't know if anyone else does this, did this at some point in their life. I would plan the days that I was not gonna stick to my diet, my very strict, not enough calories diet. So they might happen maybe once a month, once every two months, to be honest, I can't really remember. I used to do this because I would watch cheat day videos. I would watch 10,000 calorie videos when I was genuinely like 12 or 13. And I would plan my days that I was gonna have off. I would plan exactly what I was going to eat. I wouldn't listen to my body at all. And I would literally just force any food that I could. So I would have that whole day. And at that point, it wasn't binge eating. I was making myself feel sick. The day after, I would go back to eating very little. And I demonized junk food so much that if on a diet day I ever ate junk food that would turn into oh the whole day's ruined I'm gonna eat loads and I feel like that's how binge eating started for me my brain linked junk food any junk food to oh let's go eat loads so that's what happened with me when I was very young maybe between the ages of 12 to 17 but then around that age is when the restriction took over and I was struggling with an eating disorder probably two to three years of my life. I didn't often binge eat. The restriction majorly took over, but the binge eating was still there. It would happen just way less frequently. We are obviously talking about binge eating, so I'm not going to go into too much of my eating disorder with restriction. I'm just going to skip a few years into my third year at uni where binge eating started to really pick up. At this point, I had acknowledged the eating disorder. I had been to the doctors because I wasn't restricting as much. The binge eating started started to increase, but also I really was in a mentally low place. I didn't have much confidence. And so I guess I started binge eating more. I also put on a bit of weight. Looking back, it actually wasn't that much weight, but I remember at the time it felt like a lot of weight. It was to the point where none of my clothes would fit me. When I was at uni, obviously you're living in a uni house with friends. You've got your own room, you're buying your own food. So it made binge eating for me really easy. I could buy my own food from the shop, lock myself away in my room and Binge eat. But it also meant that I would sometimes eat other people's food, which I don't even know if they know this. 
It was a tough time. For me, binge eating really correlated with a low mental state and low confidence. To be honest, I hated myself. I was so disgusted in myself. I felt so much shame. I honestly can't fathom how appalled I was and disappointed in myself. Those feelings were just making the binge eating worse. I wasn't being kind to myself. All of these feelings were making my binge eating worse. I had no respect for myself. Until I got to such a low point in my head that I thought I can't do this anymore. I've got a problem with binge eating now. And to be honest, I can't pinpoint the change. I feel like the change might be the fact that uni was ending. So I could see me coming home. I was going traveling with my boyfriend. I had things to look forward to. I don't think uni was a great place for me. I didn't love it. For no reason, I think it just didn't suit me. I was drinking alcohol a lot. Alcohol three, four times a week. That's not great for binge eating either. It got to a point a couple months before uni finished, I really identified my triggers and drinking alcohol was a huge trigger for me because the next day I would often binge eat. So it was drinking alcohol, being alone, Low and feeling really low. Those are my three triggers for binge eating. And as soon as I identified them, I started to really fight the urge. Whereas I've just been giving in to my urge every single time prior to this. It's like I just took action and I knew that I had to whack the hammer on the head I don't know if that's a saying. I knew that I didn't want this for me. I knew that I was going traveling and I wanted to live my best life. I didn't want to feel so low. I wanted to have a good time. I wanted to have a good summer. I didn't want to finish uni feeling like I didn't recognize myself. It's like I just started showing up for myself more. I was eating good foods. I wasn't restricting as much. And as soon as I moved home, I went traveling and I feel like traveling really switched something inside of me. Because obviously when you're traveling, you can't count calories, you can't weigh yourself. I went a whole seven weeks without doing any of that and I never binge ate so I just fed myself with really good food I drank a little bit of alcohol but I was with my boyfriend Elliot we had such a good time and I actually genuinely feel like that really did something beneficial for me and my relationship with food I did struggle a little bit while traveling but it made me really realize that I can eat and I don't have to gain all this weight just from eating something I don't know what's in it and I can go that amount of time without binge eating and then I came home and I don't ever remember binge eating again but that doesn't mean I never had the urge to binge eat. My tips. The first thing I would recommend is to take a step back, look at your life and look at if there's anything in your life that's causing you to be unhappy other than your relationship with food. I did have an eating disorder, but I feel like when I was binge eating, it was because I wasn't happy. And it's because there were things in my life that were causing me stress. So I was constantly in a stressed state, which made me want to binge eat all the time. So that when I was alone, or when I was faced with any of my triggers, I couldn't fight it. Really think about what you can do to improve your relationship with yourself. And that can be really hard, especially if you are in such a low place and you don't love yourself at the moment but there might be small changes you can make for now to start loving yourself again. I think when I was binge eating, I was really comparing myself all the time. Every time I'd binge eat, I'd beat myself up about it. And that is something you should never do. There is so much shame with binge eating and it can make you feel so down. And you just need to know that it's not your fault. You're not doing this to yourself. Although you physically are doing it to yourself, you can't put so much pressure and guilt and shame on yourself. Because what's the point? It's happened. It's in the past. You need to treat yourself like you would a friend. What would you tell a friend if they told you they were binge eating? You'd tell them, don't be hard on yourself. I love you. You're great. Yes, you might have binge eaten. You've slipped up even though you're trying to get over it, but you're a great person and I believe that one day you will get through this. Know from the back of your hand what your triggers are for binge eating and once you know what they are, don't avoid them. If your trigger is when you're alone, be alone. If you're constantly constantly avoiding being alone, when it does come to being alone, you're gonna find that way more difficult because you're not used to it. Whereas if you put in place something to make sure you are alone with your own company, you will build up your confidence to avoid the urges and avoid your triggers. And then bam, one day you'll be alone and you won't even think of binge eating. Another thing is make sure you are eating enough. Binge eating can come from the fact that you're not feeding yourself enough. And if you are struggling with another eating disorder alongside binge eating, 
cheating, go to the doctors, make sure you speak to someone because there are people out there that can help you. Life is hard, your relationship with food is hard. There are so many things online that make you feel bad about yourself. Oh, am I not good enough? Why don't I look like them? It's hard. You are unique, you have one life. This is your DNA, it's what you have been blessed with to be on this planet. So to waste so much time fighting yourself when you could be enjoying your passage of time. But it is easier said than done, believe me, the amount of times that I would read things when I was stuck in the binge restrict cycle and be like, well, easier said than done, and I'd go and binge you the next day. It is hard. You have to genuinely want to recover and get better. Having someone tell you tips won't help unless you want to take them. You need to learn to see food as food, often demonizing food, like how I did when I was younger, can then make you lead to binge eating. If you demonize chocolate, you see chocolate as, oh, that's not healthy, I can't have that. If you demonize foods and see them as good and bad, the times that you do end up eating those bad foods, it might bring you a bit of guilt or shame, and often those are the feelings that can trigger you to binge eat. I never did this, but I do think it could be helpful. Write out a step-by-step -step plan. Have something in your bedroom, for instance, that says, when I next get the urge to binge eat, this is what I'm going to do. Number one might be, I'm going to tell my mum, I'm going to tell someone that I trust, because often I found telling someone that I felt that urge to binge eat made me then not binge eat. Number two might be simply distracting myself, going for a walk, reading a new book, putting something on TV. Have a list of things that you can tick off that will help you fight that urge to binge eat. And just think, would you rather sit with that uncomfortable urge to binge eat? Because it is uncomfortable. And it's not just like, oh, it's not like a craving. It's a genuine impulse because you can tell the difference between, oh, I'm just craving a bit of chocolate and I'm craving the urge to binge eat. And if I have that one thing, I know I'm not gonna be able to stop myself. So what I used to do is completely fight the urge. Another thing you could do is have a chocolate bar, but that never worked for me. I'm just being honest. If I had the impulse to binge eat and I said to myself, I'm going to have this one chocolate bar, that just, it'd be like a time bomb. That's, that's that's it done. I'm going to have the rest. The amount of times I said to myself, I'm just going to have this one. And then I'd go back and be like, no, I'm just going to have this, this other one. We've got seven of those, a whole pint of ice cream, a whole loaf of bread, toast for days, cereal always used to be the thing that I would finish with. Every time I avoided that urge to binge eat, my confidence grew. I trusted myself again. And if anything, I used to like getting the urge to binge eat because it was like, I know I can do this now. I know I can feel this urge. I'm so confident. I'll not give in. I cannot fathom feeling of when you wake up the next day after binge eating. It's like a hangover, but worse. I'd rather have a hangover. That's why even to this day, I don't like being too full up because it's like it reminds me of having binge eaten. Like I hate going to bed on a really full stomach. Obviously I like a little bit of a full stomach, but I just hate the feeling now of being full because just reminds me of binge eating. Understand that if you do binge eat, telling yourself this is going to be the last time, I'm never doing that again, it's not actually helpful. It might not be the last time and that's okay. Listen to your body the day after binge eating. I think if you aren't hungry, don't feel the need to eat. If you're hungry, eat. Drink peppermint tea because it's good for your stomach. Drink lemon and ginger tea. Don't punish yourself. Don't go to the gym and go, I'm not eating for, I don't know, I'm not eating much for the next week. Don't punish yourself. It's the worst thing you could do. That is just gonna continue the vicious cycle, binge restrict cycle. Focus on other areas of your life. If you put so much focus on, oh, I'm not gonna binge you today. You might find that because you're putting so much focus on it, you're creating more impulses throughout your day. When I stopped binge eating was when I finished university and I think that is not coincidental it's because I was moving on to the next stage of my life I was so bored at uni I hated it looking back at it I hated it I didn't have a purpose I just wasn't confident in myself as soon as I stopped uni I got the pleasure to think about what my life was going to look like now so for you that might be maybe you could take up a new hobby see your friends more I know it's easier said than done because when you're struggling with your relationship with food it can take up so much of your mental capacity and that's not really your fault. How can you control your thoughts? You have 60,000 thoughts a day. You're not really responsible for them. But on 
the other hand, you can control your thoughts. Something that I didn't really do when I was binge eating, but I love it now and it helps me now whenever I'm feeling down is hypnotherapy. And I'm sure if you Google on YouTube, hypnotherapy for binge eating, listen to it every night before you go to bed. And I think part of binge eating is you're in stress mode all the time. If you feel more relaxed, maybe you'll get less urges to binge eat. I think that is all I have to say for now. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments or DM me on Instagram. I believe in you. If you've not told anyone that you're binge eating, maybe it's time to tell someone. It can often feel like a secret you often don't want to tell anyone, but it really can help. The fact that you're watching this video and you've acknowledged that it's a problem in your life, you're already starting to get over binge eating. One day you'll wake up like I did and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I've not binge eaten in two years. And it might seem like for you, that is a million miles away. That's what it felt like for me. I thought I would never get to that point. I thought binge eating would just be something that I would do for the rest of my life and that I could never enjoy holidays because I end up binge eating on them all the time. Whereas now I love holidays because I just get to eat intuitively and I'm learning that's what makes me feel good. It's hard, but you'll get there. I hope you found this helpful. As I said, I'll leave some information in the description.